Some call him Jehovah. Some call him Yahweh. Some call him Adonai. But we lift our eyes to heaven and call him. Cause he had to get some shoes. Yeah, we'll take them. So I hope, I hope it is. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? Oh! Hey, Swole up. <laughs> it is. If you want like an apple juice, orange juice, milk, Sprite. Jesus, you're the only power. See, he, he, he asked me something to by himself. I tell you, let's go the tea. <laughs> what? Hey, look. So I told you gotta it. come back and try to make people Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> so if I can, let me get past it. Okay. Come on and lift your voice. Did anybody come to praise God today? Put your hands up. Let's go. But he had an old car sitting in the drive or the driveway. God blessed him with a new car, so. I was like, all right, I'm warm then. So I went over, I did some push up. I did the 415, put it on there. It was his turn. When he What's up, Jeremiah? 
Can you uh, can you tell me and Merle what you got out of today's service? Uh, what I got out of today's service was uh, being humble, no matter who you are, what you look like, or where you come from. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Make it ready to receive. Make it ready to receive. A lot of y'all praying for things, but the preacher spoke on. You're praying for it, but you're not make ready to receive. You got to make ready to receive, man. Don't be you're praying for a husband, but are you acting like a wife? You're praying for a wife, but are you acting like a husband? You know what I mean? You're praying for that new car, but are you putting yourself in a position to get God to bless you with that new car? I think the same thing. You got to be, you could be praying for something, but you can't be ready for it. You know, like, I'm praying to do the best, but am I ready for it? Amen. You know? Yeah. Make like, ready to receive. Like, he gave a perfect example today. He said he had the people out there, and the water had went down so far, so they started praying for rain. When they went to go pray for the rain, they went to stand over there where the water had went down so low. There was one person behind them, and a guy noticed them and went back and was like, why you ain't go for, with everybody else to go pray for the rain? And he was like, well, we going to pray for rain, but are we ready for the rain? He said, I ain't see nobody grab an umbrella. Yeah. Nobody's ready for the rain. Yeah. So, like he said, if you asking for a blessing, you should be ready for the blessing. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Me and Merle trying to be the best in him. We working our hardest to get to that point where we can be the best, but are we really ready? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's different. If I'm at the house and I say, I want to bench 500 pounds, am I really in here working out for it, getting myself ready? Yeah. That needs to say, if you want a blessing, you're supposed to be a blessing. It's supposed to be a service to others. Not everybody, not all. Less is more, it's plenty of it. You know what I mean? Hey, make ready to receive. Make ready to receive. How can you expect somebody else to take you serious if you don't take yourself serious? Straight up.